Hello there, this is Vanessa Ho again and today in this video I'm going to share with you three more custom that you should know when dating a mature Vietnamese woman and what do I mean by mature Vietnamese woman? Those are the women who were born a few years before, right on and a few years after the Vietnam War because it is a crucial event of Vietnam's history. Such a woman will value her culture and customs. Therefore, taking the time to know and adopting these cultures and these customs will demonstrate that you are in this for a long term versus casual dating. So if you have not watched the two videos that I'm sharing, seven custom, you need to know to impress a Vietnamese woman, then go ahead and go back and look for those two videos and watch it, then come back here, okay? But first, how would you like an ongoing supply of free reports, helpful resources and unique cultural insights for meeting, dating and marrying a Vietnamese woman? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again. Also, remember to apply the tips that I share from my previous videos on how to, uh, what to do on your first date, second date and beyond and you will impress her and her family at the first time that you met. So that is really important because since this will be a main, one of the main factors in her decision in entering a serious relationship with you or not. So uh, again, if you have not watched those videos, you can also go back and watch those videos first. And I just want to remind you that those are the tips that are important to open the door for you during the dating phase. And of course, during the courtship, there will be more tips and custom that you need to be aware of, okay? Custom number one, understand and demonstrate the importance of respect to the elders. As I have mentioned from my previous videos, the Vietnamese culture has dated back over a thousand years and a cornerstone of that culture is respect to the elders. This includes how to address them, how to greet them, and how let's go ahead and talk about the proper way for you to behave at meals. Generally speaking, it's safe to let the elders to sit down first and eat first. And if you want to score a major point with her family and herself, then, you know, be a gentleman, pull in a chair for her mom, for herself, or for any of the other female siblings that are close to her, okay? But then avoid physical contact as much as you can, unless she literally needs help to move. Once you have said that, they may ask you to eat first, then just politely decline and gesture or just wait to see if her father started it first and then her mother and then all the siblings and then you know you can go and start eating but of course if your lady is the one that cooking and preparing the meal then you know go ahead and help her and wait until she's ready to join you okay and also remember that if you greet the parents and it happened even though if you know they it's happened that they are close to your age since you are dating their daughters then you need to address them as sir or madame or ma'am i know that it may feel like overkill especially if you you are you know you from the you used to how the casual english is but then regardless you know how westernized a Vietnamese woman is, even if the one was born here in the U.S. or been living here for a long time, like I live here for almost 30 years of my life, but I still will expect this as well with her parents. If you leave off the term sir or madame at the end of each sentence when you're talking to them, this implies that you are on an equal terms with her parents. The idea of addressing, addressing her parents and their friends 
which is her parents' friends, on an equal terms with them is considered very, very rude and unacceptable. Also, it indicates that you are ill-mannered or you are not interested in get to know her seriously because you don't ask her about her culture and custom or you don't even learn it or look for the information online or else, elsewhere or like from her friends or your friends you know or any Vietnamese people that you you know right so that's really gonna be a minus point for you that's really so let me explain a little more for you uh, if you for you to kind of like easier to understand what do I mean by that like just think of um, uh, a military analogy okay the rank in that in the military a lower ranking officer always always have to address a higher officer with a with sorrow or madame at the end of every sentence even though you know it's not that formal in our Vietnamese language and culture but it's you know it's it's just really easy to to do so and just remember that I'm not saying like it, you have to be that that formal like you have to you know uh, also with your body language but just remember to use that term sir and madam at the end of each sentence it's not a social ranking system or anything like that it's just a way to show that you have a respect for all the person for uh, for her families and also for her ancestor and then of course it's also show that you give a respect to to her herself which means that you also give respect and you give your relationship with her um, the importance and I just want to add on um, as a tip is when you also meet her uncle her aunt her in-law her uncle-in-law then you know you need to address uh, them the way that you uh, address her parents as well okay so whoever's related to her and had the same level of genera uh, generation as her parents then go ahead and put on sir and madam on at the end of each sentence when you talk into them okay and uh, you know I believe that um, most Asian cultures uh, and customs also have the different terms of um, of calling I mean of addressing the older persons um, in their family so that Chinese Thais Laos and then also Cambodians because my mom is Cambodian and Indian culture so it's really important that you you know that when you go to Asia or you uh, want to be in a serious relationship long-term relationship with any Asian woman then that typical things that you always need to um, ask your lady or you know learn ahead of time before uh, you, you come and interact with her family okay custom number two I want to share with you that you need to understand the concept of extended family and what do I mean by that um, those are the one that really really close to the family close to her parents close to her uh, grandparents, her aunts and uncle, they're really, really close, even those that they are not biologically related to her or her family, your lady friends or her parents, okay? But they are a really, really close enough friend that they will be treated as a family member. Um, it's to that point, um, I will, let me explain a little more for you so you, you can understand a little easier, okay? They will be when you meet them or you see them uh, they will be treated as though they were legally adopted into the family without changing their last name and in Vietnamese when you meet her um, your lady's friends extended family members you would address this member as though they are a family member as well so unless you are asked outright you don't know if they are related to the family biologically because uh, we also we as a Vietnamese lady or Vietnamese culture we also call them as aunt and uncle yes it's pretty confusing right uh, I, I absolutely understand because um, 
my boyfriend, even though he's Vietnamese, but he was uh, born and raised, uh, he was born in Laos and he came to the U.S. like 45 years ago. And when we first dating and, uh, and uh, when we first go now, when I mentioned it to introduce to him my, like, my mom's best friend, and I call her as older auntie, then he was like, what? Oh, so is she your mom's sister? I say, no, she's just my mom's best friend for like, I have to say uh, 65 years, 60 plus years. But we have to call her respectfully in the way like aunt. So for you, when you um, go out with your, your lady friend, then you need to call, if she address her as a aunt, then you need to address her as an aunt as well or uncle if you know the gentleman so I just want you to remember that it's pretty confusing uh, even for my boyfriend who's a Vietnamese <laughs> originally Vietnamese at first 100% Vietnamese but he still um, got confused about it okay so just make sure that you either follow your lady friends uh, the way that she call in uh, the people around her when when you meet at the meal or in public or in private doesn't matter or just ask her ask her you know um, you know whisper to her ears and ask her ahead of time before you uh, actually say it out loud okay <laughs> uh, yeah so that's another point I want you to remember to understand that extended family let me share with you the last custom in this video okay that don't misinterpret how Vietnamese women behave in public. Yes, I have always been emphasizing to, uh, to all my audience throughout many videos that I've been uploaded that you should avoid physical contact as much as possible in public, right? And yes, it still hold true, but however, Here's the part that you may find odd. And that's why I want you to pay attention and listen to what I'm sharing, okay? Because like I said, this, um, this custom, or this, I should say, this behavior that even my boyfriend who, who is Vietnamese, but he was born in Kabul, born in, was born in Laos and then also raised up in, uh, in the US for 45 years, he still feel, uh, really odd and until I try to explain to him uh, quite a few times then he finally got it but he's still like uh, you know I don't know I don't know why okay so it's really important that you listen uh, to my sharing okay uh, when you go out on public and you will see um, a few Vietnamese women holding hands and walking and talking uh, you know and laughing then don't misinterpret that they are in a relationship. It doesn't mean like that. <laughs> uh, their behavior is, doesn't mean that. It means that they are close friends or even cousin and sister, you know, and they have so much love and care for each other. And they, they are so close with each other that it's just the way of them to express themselves that they enjoy each other's company. And it's also uh, also a feeling of sharing that you know they feel safer together. So, so again, don't misinterpret this common thing, okay? Even though I know it's feel weird nowadays, or even with you know with you guys who come from the Western world, <laughs> say why not holding hand to a guy, but then it's okay to hold hands with her friends, right? Okay, so. Um, that's it for my uh, three other uh, customs that I want to share with you in this video. And I hope that you find these tips that I'm sharing with you is valuable about Vietnamese culture, about mature Vietnamese women, how to impress them, how to address her families, her relatives. And I hope that if you are really serious about uh, dating and marry a mature Vietnamese woman then you learn more about it and you can you know re you can keep watching my videos over and over again and take notes okay and practicing them 
So that means that it's demonstrate to your lady friend that you are with her for a long-term relationship. You are not there just to call her or just to date her, just to, you know, just to have fun. And that's it, right? Okay, so again, be a gentleman and it's a really great impression if you get to know some of her basic um, general culture and customs. That's always a plus. I think that's that's implied to any cultures in any countries, any nations. I, I, I strongly be I'm strongly believe in, in that. Okay. Okay, so again I would love to hear um, back from you from your feedbacks or any question or any comments and thanks again for watching thanks again for um, sharing because I've been receiving quite a few questions and comments and feedbacks and thanks so much for that and I'm looking forward to seeing you on my next videos okay and again feel free to share with me uh, your question or any um, anything that you you feel like uh, that you want to know about Vietnamese, mature Vietnamese women, about Vietnamese culture and custom. And I would do my best to go ahead and record that and share with you uh, to my best knowledge. Okay. And again, this is Vanessa Ho. I'm looking forward to seeing you on my next video.